Hi, my name's John Storms, and uh, this year's light show is going to be run off of this. Now, I'm taking the year off from my house, and I'm going to do my mom's house, and she doesn't have a, a place to stick a computer out, so, and not to mention, I want to keep this really simple for myself. So I went and bought the Lightarama Gen 3 Mini Director, and it's a UMP3G3. So, it's this little guy, and he has... Bunch of little, so this is uh, an SD card slot, and then this is a little indicator light. This is the audio jack. So, this audio jack would either go to speakers or you would run that to a FM transmitter so you can play the show. And then on the back side, there's a 12 volt input. And if you actually want this, then there's the RJ45 jack, and that is for a Lightarama RJ45 network. And uh, it will pull its power off of that. So the pin 3 for Lightarama is 10 volt hot. So that's where it pulls. And then one, those uh, jumpers, 1 through 6, those terminals, those are used for um, input triggers. Okay, so you can run uh, the whole little show off of this. So uh, what I want to do first is I want to update its uh, firmware. Uh, you can hook this up so it's connected to the hardware utility. In order to do that, you have to first make sure that the SD card is not in the slot. Okay? And then the next thing we do is we plug in our, an RJ45 network. So I have this Cat5 cable running to a um, RS45 booster. And then I have this connected to my computer. Okay. Him, we plug him in, and you see, and he's pulling his power right from Cat5. Now, if we wanted to use the 12 volt AC, the book says we gotta pop this open, switch out a jumper, and hook up the AC. But uh, we'll we'll see if that's actually the case. So right now it's coming up solid red light. Why? Because I'm running the hardware utility now. If I turn off the hardware utility, and I come back to here, see, it's a flashing red light, which means it has uh, no SD card in it. Okay, so now I go back to my computer and I start up the hardware utility and I do absolutely nothing. And you see? And the light has stopped flashing and it's red. Okay, now working on this guy when the hardware utility is in the blind is he doesn't show up in the list. Ugh, stuff's falling off. He doesn't show up in the list. So if you hit this little, if you hit that refresh button where you normally pull up all your controllers, you won't see them. And if you have controllers hooked up to them, you won't see those either. So uh, he is his own little thing. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna update his firmware. All right, so I got the hardware utility up. Now I need to go download the firmware. I've never done this before for the mini director, so this is a brand new toy for me. So I'm actually kind of excited. I go to the Lightarama website, lightarama.com. We go to support, support, download. Nope, this is the wrong place. Support firmware. Okay, now. Let's see, I'm looking at my little device here. It's the Gen 3 Mini Director. So I scroll down. Okay, it's this guy. It's the UMP3G3. I got the cheap one. So I'm downloading the firmware. Okay, so I assume that's in my downloads directory, so I need to remember the name of that file. Now I'm looking at my little mini director, it's hooked up to my little uh, RS-485 adapter and the light is red. So now I go back to the hardware utility, I go to firmware, and let's see, select the device. So you always want to be careful upgrading firmware. Okay, so I want to control. I want to select the MP3 player. If you have original version of firmware in the MP3, you, 
Then to download, you must take the following. Select the firmware file, click download, OK. Press re reset button on the MP3 director card. Reset button? I don't think there is a reset button. They must be talking about a different different, different device. OK. All right, click OK. So now I'm going to select the firmware file. This is the one I just downloaded. So it's not going to be in my firmware directory, it's going to be in my downloads directory. Alright, there it is. This LHX is the, uh, the extension for the Lightarama guys. Alright, now I click download. And now it is loading that onto the MP3 player. Or the, the mini director, the Gen 3 mini director. And it is the UMP3 G3. So it looked like it started off by flushing everything and now it's downloading. It's just basically copying that file over to this guy. So obviously you don't want to unplug it midway. And so I'm watching the, the actual box and I'm getting a flash, a status flash, about once every one or two seconds. 1 1001, 1 1002, yeah. I get one red flash every two seconds while it's uh, uploading its firmware. I was kind of hoping there would be a way I could see what version of the firmware I had. Alright, still going. Still going. I just wanted to check the documentation for the LED status to see if it told me anything about when it's upgrading the firmware. Okay, and it's finished. So I think now that it's done, I'm good to go. Let's just double check. And it says the mini director will reboot. Okay, and I look at the mini director and it's sitting there with its status LED solid on, so it has rebooted. So that's it. That's how you update the firmware on the Lightarama Gen 3 Mini Director UMP3 G3.